Hello and welcome, it's uh, Andy here talking really and uh, yeah, when uh, we've been talking about this for a long time, uh, fraud and waste of money and benefits um, etc. Well, yeah, I think this one, this video, uh, best for Britain, this one uh, really takes the biscuit because it demonstrates the hundred billion wasted by government so far uh, and all they're worried about is targeting disabled and less abled yeah so that's what they're, they're after they're after penalizing people who are very very suffering already uh, and i regardless of the uh comments out there oh get a job oh do this do that do that. You, you get too much money blah 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 uh, consider that the government, your government, that you are paying, are wasting a hundred billion. Get that into your head. A hundred billion. They're wasted already. And they're going to be wasting more as we get time goes on. Right? So, get your mind off of the fact that a small minority of people are getting money because they are disabled whereas your government that you are paying in your uh, taxes and proudly paying because uh, some of the comments are telling me that you know you're very happy to pay them but you don't want to pay for a small minority of people who are sitting on their asses apparently sitting on their asses and should get off their ass and go and, go and get a job but you're quite happy for the government to waste money. Are you sitting down? Because you'll probably faint when you hear what I have to say. We've just uncovered that since 2019, the government has wasted 100 billion pounds of taxpayer money. That's 1,500 pounds per man, woman and child in the UK. Almost 100 times what's needed to end the doctor strikes. This total includes massive contracts to close friends and Tory insiders, extravagant spending on luxury goods and silly amounts on stuff that just didn't work. The total includes £140 million sunk on the Rwanda plan, which last week got ruled unlawful by the Supreme Court, £2.3 billion spent on the cancelled parts of HS2 and £50 million spent on a new helicopter. The total figure is an estimate using publicly available data and you can find the full list of scandalous spending along with their sources on our website. As Chancellor and then Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak has been responsible for government spending for almost all of this period. We literally can't afford him staying in government for another second. We need a general election now. What would you have done with the £1,500 that the government has taken from you? Right, there you go. That's best for Britain. Uh, £100 billion wasted. And they're targeting a minority of a country for a small amount of money. Oh, hello. Sorry for interrupting the video. I just thought you'd be interested in helping out the channel with the merchandise. We got some new ones out now. So you may be interested in coming over to have a look. Click on the link on the shop. Um, this is the uh, page that you'll find. Uh, there is a whole load of different uh, t-shirts and mugs. You can see here the new one for the WEF, the World Enslavement Forum. It's um, a play on words. You may be interested in having a t-shirt or a mug and putting it on your desk well that's the mug not the t-shirt you can wear the t-shirt and uh, proudly show off uh, but they also have lots of other different designs for example there are some here for thailand there are some for social and disability um, there are a lot more in the shop uh, you can see they go all the way back, various designs, and they're also very reasonably priced. I didn't want to put them to the recommended retail because it's far too expensive. 
I would um, just like to be able to support the channel. And there are lots and lots of t-shirts and mugs available. So if you can do that for me, that would be really helpful. Uh, and thank you. And back to the video. Okay, have a good day. Remember, comments down below if they're nice. Uh, no insults, no abuse. Uh, or you will be banned. It's not about um, controlling what you say. It's about if you can't say nothing nice, then don't say it. If it has to be insulting, i.e. something like, ooh, you're scruffy, you know, that's entirely not constructive at all. So constructive criticism is fine. Insults are not fine. Have a good day. Catch you later.